your metaphysical position is such that you will even reject God what he says about himself. Yes, yes. That's okay. why I'm saying we can only go as far as God describes himself okay. who he is. Mansour just God said that Allah is absolutely is dissimilar to his creation. Excuse if he is absolutely dissimilar to his creation, level. then your created understanding is absolutely dissimilar to him. Congratulations, you can't understand God in your theology, Mansour. Yes, I understand. Look, when we yes, it, yes, you are saying that because you have. Wait, I'm sorry, bro. You no. you, you jumped yeah, in the combo. No, no, it's no, important no, 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 because he knows exactly what he's talking about. Okay. Also, okay. Also, okay. Well, also, you're dumb because no, no, he, he doesn't. Because he, 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 he has, has no, no, wait, 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 I know he knows more than me. Wait, wait, okay, wait, 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 okay, wait, brother. What's your name? What's your name? My my name is Gomsho. Nice to meet you. I'm Thomas. Nice to meet you. Okay, so what? Just briefly summarize for me, please. What's your argument against? My argument is like that. He is not defining his terms okay. my, my first problem is that he's oh, arguing wait, like, wait, going, wait. like going circular and circular without defining with, with, with implicit definitions he's assuming something but he's hiding that but if he express that explicitly then we can pinpoint that where oh, okay. he is making can, wrong in oh, his judgment can, can you yes. wait 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 wait, wait. Yes, can you can you say he, which terms he, are being he defined using a premise which is not well defined now then he he is not. Can, can well you say the terms he's not defining? No, no, that's why. That's why I was. You said he's not defining his terms. Like Tell us which one. Saying that if God possesses this, if God is will, and then God is love, kind of thing, and he says that if it is different from God, uh, it it becomes part. I mean, yes. this concept yes. you are having this okay, concept. Okay. No, no, can, you are having mm -hmm. this concept from your material world, and you are saying that. You know what quantum mechanics is? No, no, you do. You do. Wait, wait. Alibar, you are wait, talking can about I, quantum mechanics. Can I explain it to you? Let, let because me, I know his why, why I am talking this? Because he, Alibar was talking about uh, uh, infinite regression when, and he was when, using when, modal when, universes. Today? Today? No, no, earlier. Earlier conversation. Another occasion. Another occasion. Why are you bringing it up here? How is this relevant? Yes. Just to show you how inconsistent you may be. No, no, 100%. Yeah, yeah. That's why you are you are have the uh, you are having the arrogance to uh, to portray yourself that you understand everything of quantum Wait, everything can I, of can time. I, can I just interrupt using, for one second? Using concept of time and you are, you are, you are uh, arguing with arguing with this concept of time. Wait, brother, we're not talking about time right now. No, no, I am giving time. the example that how he is incapable. Of okay, can you please talk about what we're talking about right now? Properly, the terms he is using in his premises. Okay, okay. No, in this, in the, I, I asked you earlier. Right? No, no, no. Wait, 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 wait. Yeah, you yeah, need, yeah. you need to allow for people to yeah, speak. Yeah. I asked you earlier, right? I asked you what terms is he using that he's not defining in this, in this debate here, not a previous one. No, he, he, he is like uh, there's the, uh, just brother Master has said that he has, he has not defined love. And he is not okay. Will. Okay, he defined. He wait, wait, wait. He no, what, what he defined love earlier as he defined why, why love he, he earlier cannot, as God's. Cannot, wait, 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 no, wait, wait, brother, brother, brother. Yeah. Needs to let someone else speak. Yeah. He defined love earlier as God's will for the good, right? If you want him to define will, I'm sure he's going to define that to you as God's rational appetite towards the good, right? That's what he's going to define that to. So now that the terms are explained. Let us break down to you why it's dangerous if you separate or, sorry, not separate, but make distinct the attributes of God. I'll break this down to both of you, okay? In metaphysics, there's something called myriology, which is the study of parts and their relationships to wholes. Now, what a part is, is something which is less than a whole, right? So, for example, my pinky finger is less than the whole of my hand. Therefore, it's a part of my hand, right? But also we understand parts don't have to be physical things, right? There can be metaphysical parts, like powers, right? Superman has the power of flight, but that's not the whole of Superman, so it's a part of him. Let, let me just finish, right? So the problem is, is if you say Allah's attributes are distinct from each other, you can't say that they're identical to the whole of Allah, right? Otherwise those attributes would be identical to each other. But if they're less than the whole of God, then definitionally yes, so they are what a part is, okay? <laughs> so so, so let, let me say this. So your metaphysical theory, where, where, wherever you are applying your principles, metaphysics, you have to first see that whether it is applicable to God. Yes, it is. No, because that's why I was saying that your theory of part and not non-part, whole, is not applicable to God. God is completely different concept. You cannot comprehend in the sense, but you can represent, it still represent with your concepts. Okay. A little bit. Mm -hmm. It's a like, like I have said, the quantum mechanics, you cannot comprehend quantum realm 
Yeah. Still, you can use the classical language to express it. Like a, mm -hmm. a, a thing can be particle oh, and the wave at the same time. But your concept of particle is like yeah. something is confined in space. Yeah. Okay. Can and I... wave is like something mm -hmm. is spreading. But yeah. you, you say that. You okay. Can I make a, can I make a response to that? I am giving an yeah. example how you cannot apply your yeah. concepts towards God. Can, can yeah, I yeah, can yeah, I make can I can I yeah, yeah, you understand that? The yeah, point? yeah, yeah, yeah. I, I understand his point. Okay. The yeah. problem, wait, wait. The problem with his point is this, right? You're saying that God is so far beyond concepts that no, we can't apply them to Him. But the problem is, is someone can use that same point to just say that you can't say anything at all about God That's because why He's so. Wait, 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 wait. I'm not. I'm not. I'm not finished, yes, right? Yes, okay. Yes. We can still apply certain principles that we know about reality to certain quantum particles and how quantum mechanics works, right? Similarly, with God, we can apply principles about reality to God. For example, I've seen in videos that you've used arguments to show that an immaterial God exists, right? Because we can use natural reasoning to come to the conclusion that God immaterially exists. But God isn't beyond the principles of just natural reasoning like that, is he? Because we can apply those also to God. And if you say that he's beyond those principles, not only are you saying you can't reason anything about God, but then nothing is applicable to God. That's the problem. We can use the reason to reach at God, conclusion at God. But at, as we read the, uh, about the uh, about the qualities of God, mm -hmm. which is reflected in His creation perfect, yeah, we can use our reason up to that point. But we cannot use our reason. I mean, uh, whether this does, whether, whether wait, how wait, wait, these, these are the bank. This this is not, no, no. The bank. Yes. How, how let these me just, are residing in the same this. same entity or not? We okay. cannot use our reason because it goes beyond our reason. Okay. I mean, wait, wait, wait. wait. Like, like that's why I have given an example of quantum mechanics. Yes. So what? Just I am giving that even a material particle is showing this kind of incapability of our language. Yeah. Can, you know? I, can I respond to that? Yeah, yeah. Okay. So the problem with that, right, is you're saying we can apply reasoning to God at this point, but we can't at this point. Your problem is that you have an arbitrary cutoff point as to when you can apply no, no, reason to is, God it is or not. not. It, it reason, is an arbitrary. Reason, wait, wait, wait. I'm not finished. I'm not, I'm not finished. Just let me finish. Tell you wait, wait, wait. Just let me finish. Reason, reason, reason let, will be let me finish. Not arbitrary. It is based on the principle of reasoning. Because I am living the domain. Every reason or every premise is defined within the, a certain, certain boundary or limitation. You know? Mm -hmm. But okay, can you I, yeah, yeah. Can I, yeah. Everything is limited, limited in scope. Yeah, I, I, I agree. Everything. Wait, 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 wait. I agree. Everything is limited in its scope. However, with Mariology as a principle, this is still applicable to God, like you would admit that many other principles are. So if you want to say some principles are applicable to God and some are not, you're going to have to give a philosophical reason as to why you're doing that. No, you and if not, wait, 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 wait. If not, then it is just an arbitrary cutoff point. Which is what yeah, you're no, making. No, it's, it's an arbitrary Muslim philosophers have really dealt with this, and I'm sure you, you, you should have taken time to read Muslim philosophers on this issue and where some of the Muslim philosophers went astray because they went beyond the limits of the scope and why they need to have the boundary within the scope in which they understand. Okay. That's why I asked you, if I asked your friend, if God told you something, like mm -hmm. I have literally two eyes. You say, I would not believe in it. So this shows your metaphysical position is such that you will even reject God, what he says about himself. Yes, yes. That's okay. why I'm saying we can only go as far as God describe himself, okay. who he is. If God ascribes, not ascribes, but if God defines or informs us about what he is, we accept it. Yes. You cannot then say, no, I reject you, God. You cannot be like that because yes. metaphysically I have a principle in which, you know, I can only apply analogical predication. You cannot be that. Okay. So and, one second. The question yeah. now is in the hereafter. Yeah. You say you cannot see God. Okay. How do you feel God's presence? In what tools are you going to use to feel God's presence? Okay. The way in which one feels God's presence is God's acts affecting our emotional state. That's how you feel God's presence. Now, with what you said earlier, no, right, I'm going to... Wait, 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 wait. No, because I, I want to address... How you picture God in no, no, uh, Mansour, no, no, Mansour, I'm going to I'm gonna no, address no. what you said earlier you, as well. How, no, how, how I'm going to address what you said earlier. No, Calm please, down. Please, please. I'm going to address heaven, your heaven, whole statement. Because the divine simplicity. I'm going to address your not, whole statement, Mansour. I'm not interested in the heavenly concept of God. Mansour, I'm going to address your whole statement. 
Have now, you made a God. criticism on Rico that he would deny certain things he about God on metaphysical reasoning alone. Okay, now, he says he would deny certain things about God on logic alone. But I'm sure, I'm, so. I'm sure that you believe that the Trinity is an illogical thing, right? So if God revealed himself to you as one, you would say that's illogical. Would you accept God as a Trinity? Let me tell you something. Answer if that God, question. Let, let me answer. I'm answering. Mm -hmm. If God described himself exactly and we are sure that God said so, we accept it. So you would accept anything because, about God. And let me, and let me, my mm -hmm. second part of the question. God created us with this rational faculty and he's not going to tell us something that goes against our rational faculty about himself because there's many yeah. things about god that we cannot comprehend the things that we can comprehend is something that is in line and in tune with our rational faculty so yes. whatever god describes about himself will always okay in line with our rational understanding of who he is it will never contradict okay Mansour. that means let me finish mm -hmm. that means any concepts from any religion that goes against our rational understanding and it says it's contradictory, you would say God has given us this faculty to reject this concept because it cannot be from him. So okay. God, if he told us about himself, we accept it. But okay. he will never tell something which he has given us a tool to understand him and go against that. Tool. Okay, okay, so Mansour, wait, 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 let, let me let me just God respond to Mansour. Like wait, God wait, brother, like brother. I'll let you interject in the conversation yeah. later, but let me just respond yeah. to Mansour. Did you understand, boy? Yeah, I, I understand your point, but there's a big problem that I have with your Akida, right? And it sounds like you're you're an Afari from your Akida. So I'm going to address that position on the non-cognitive statements what about Allah. What did I say? Now, Mansour, Mansour, wait, 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 wait. Okay, what I disagree with is you say that when God describes himself a certain way, you just accept that and you don't dig into the further meaning. The problem... I didn't say that. Wait. We can only go as far as God described himself okay. who he is. You, you, did. Again. you I said, the word you, said you don't go into the further I meaning. I didn't say further meaning Okay, at all. okay. So do you, do, you disagree, do you disagree with Ahmed ibn Hanbal when he says that? Wait, what you're doing is, you're not having a sincere, genuine conversation. I said, having a whatever God reveals about himself, we accept it. Did I say anything else? Did I add or take away anything? Okay, okay, okay good, good. So, so let me ask you this no, just no, to demonstrate stop, stop. it. You will ask. Okay, I'll but wait for you to finish, then I'll ask. Do not stall on me because you want to somehow okay. put your can, position... Can I, can I ask right? a clarifying wait, question wait, wait, so wait, I don't straw man you? Wait, wait, wait. What I said is, God created us with our Russian faculty. Yes. Would he, God, say then? Seven things. It means. Okay, what does it mean? He has two hands that befits his majesty and they are unlike anything, anything of the creation. Okay, okay, man. Let, let me clarify. Uh -huh. Let me clarify. In a way. Hands, we know hands. You've got hands, this has got hands, hands of a, a clock. clock and yep. many things, right? I we know, know what hands means. So Allah describes that he has hands, but they're okay. unlike hear the word, they're unlike anything yes. of the created domain. So hands God has, which befits His Majesty. We do not make resemblance to anything okay. of the creation. Okay. We do not deny them. Good. We do not interpret them away. Yes. That's okay. exactly okay. Man our so. position. Okay. Let me ask Does it you make this. Sense to you? Yes. Okay. Let me Tell ask me what, you. What makes sense to you? Tell okay. Me, you're you're, you're saying you're saying uh, okay. that Allah has hands, absolutely unlike creation. You can have physical hands. Clocks can have hands, but in a more metaphorical sense. And the way in which you understand Allah's hands is that he has hands, they're two right hands, and the way in which you understand them is that it's absolutely beyond his creation and it's what befits his majesty. That's what you're correct. His creation. You so, what sorry, you said it's unlike. It's unlike the okay, creation. Okay, okay. We don't creation need to nitpick words. Hands, Wait. Hands let me, okay, let, let me ask Allah, you. Okay. Allah's hands okay, are unlike Man, Mansour, let me ask you something then. Yeah. Your understanding of Allah's hands, yeah. is that understanding created? What do you mean? Every understanding is created because you are a creation. Okay, so then your understanding of Allah's hands, since they're unlike creation, is unlike Allah's hands. I don't understand your question. Okay. You're speaking gibberish. Okay, okay. You said, premise one, Allah's hands. I didn't give you any argument. Okay, wait. No, 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 no. Because don't I'm, I'm drawing, again. I'm drawing inferences what you, from what you so said. Don't give me a premise. Wait, 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 Mansour, Mansour, Mansour. 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 It's called a reductio ad absurdum. No, wait, Mansour, then Mansour. The discussion is over. Wait, Mansour. If you don't, if you don't make him quiet, then we. Will this is, this is just an arbitrary principle no, you're no, using no. to run away you from the no, debate. No, no, no. You because tell him you, to stop. You, Look, how long have I been speaking to you in this conversation? Man Mansour, yeah, stop, but stop. now we have a stop, point that you stop, can't stop, answer. Stop. Can, can I? How long have I been talking? Okay, Mansour, I respect that More you're talking. More than an hour? 
can we have a civil can we have a civil conversation well, this guy comes along i start talking well, it's irritating okay tell him to shut up okay, okay. Let, let's let's all have a civil conversation Thank you. no one in the crowd interrupt yeah. because this is a civil conversation yeah. between us e ever since it's been tell us two it's been respectful okay i'm not going to tell someone to shut up because it's disrespectful but i'm going to address the crowd and say to the crowd that i would like us to just only be the two interjectors in the conversation now you objected to what i said by saying that in me drawing premises, it's wrong. What it no, is I called? I don't understand what you're talking okay, about. Okay, okay, yeah, that's that why you have to wait, argument. wait, Mansour, Mansour. That's why you have to wait for me to finish the statement. Excuse me. Right? When does premise comes okay. along? When okay. you're making an argument, okay. right? Okay. Did Mansour. I make an argument? Yep. Mansour, can I finish my argument? Wait, you asked. Did I make an argument? No, you didn't. Then why? Drawing... Where does the premise okay, come in? Okay, okay, okay. I'm going to explain that. Can okay, you go let ahead. me explain. What I'm doing is called a reductio ad absurdum. When you take points that your opponent makes and then you draw from it that it leads to an incoherent syllogism right so what mansoor just said earlier is that allah's hands are absolutely unlike creation he also affirms that he understands allah's hands and then i asked him is your understanding of allah's hands created so since allah's hands are absolutely unlike creation but mansoor's understanding of allah's hands is created then his understanding of allah's hands is absolutely unlike how they really are and thus you can't describe god this is the problem with his position. It it's philosophically it. bankrupt. I mean, nonsensical, yeah, yeah, yeah. nonsensical yeah, yeah, argument. Yeah, 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 yeah. Listen. Okay, address the whatever, syllogism. Whatever, whatever analogies you bring about Allah's hands to, I am saying simply, in any way you are to describe, they will be unlike, dissimilar to anything that you can imagine. The fact that Allah exists, the fact that you exist, your existence and Allah's existence are not identical. They are going to be, they are going to be dissimilarities, right? So it doesn't matter what you think, what comes in your mind, they are never going to be identical. Likewise, Allah in His reality, He exists with His attributes. But His attributes are not identical to us, they are unlike us. They might have some similarities by name, for example, hand and hand. They are only similar by names. But in terms of the reality, they are totally different. Okay. Wait, 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 wait. wait. So now, having explained to our position which is sensible rational reasonable logical i want to go back to the christian concept no we're heaven. still no, on this gonna... topic no, 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 we're no. still on this no. topic you haven't answered it the christian you can't just heaven. switch the topic hang on yeah, yeah, i didn't switch the topic keep, keep you switched it we want to know we were talking christian about the metaphysics of god, of god. Which, you're not going to run away from the syllogism in heaven man so tell me now okay you're not going to run away from the syllogism you're running away you're running away from the syllogism you're running away man so you're running away how is god like in heaven man so we already addressed wait 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 we already we already addressed your question earlier now you're going to address our question can you see god in heaven man so we already addressed this earlier we already okay no we did because we mentioned how how god in heaven is what me? you're seeing Can is I the effects of his act. Now we're going to keep what talking about the heaven? syllogism that what I just gave Mansour and Mansour's not what actually responding to what I just I'm said to him. To so Mansour doubled this down on his away. statement Stay again and Mansour just Don't said Mansour just God said that Allah is absolutely dissimilar to his creation. If he is absolutely dissimilar to his creation then your created understanding is absolutely dissimilar to him. Congratulations, you can't understand God in your theology, Mansour. That's the problem. I'll read you the premises. Premise one, Allah is absolutely dissimilar to creation. Our understandings are created. Therefore, Allah is absolutely unlike our understandings. If Allah is unlike our understanding of most merciful, then we can't describe Allah's attribute of most merciful. And therefore, we can't describe Allah. Now, Mansour, wait, wait, wait. I, I'm about to finish my statement. I'm about to finish my statement. Now, when we speak of God, when we speak of God, there are three categories in which we can predicate of a thing. There's a univocal sense in which it's absolutely like God. Neither me or Mansour hold to this. There's an analogical sense in which something is similar or like God, which I hold to, but Mansour is saying Allah is completely dissimilar, so we can't hold to analogical predication. And then there is an equivocal usage when something is absolutely dissimilar to something. It's similar to if I were to say dogs bark and trees have bark. The usage of the word bark is equivocal. The problem is, is if Allah is actually absolutely unlike creation, or as you said, absolutely dissimilar in an absolute sense, then that means that you're using an equivocal usage. 
So the same well, way you're saying really Allah has you hands, know what you're talking about. it's the same way I'm saying dogs bark and trees have bark. Yes. It's nonsensical. That's what I'm saying. You don't have a clue what you're talking about. Let me tell you what I mean by that. Dogs bark and a tree has barks. These bark, the word has two different meanings. That's the point, yeah. Don't interrupt. Two different meanings. I didn't say when we're talking about hands, that the meaning is different. Hands doesn't mean hands. I said I hands do that. mean hands. <laughs> so you do not even understand the Islamic position. I, okay. Clearly not, because you're equivocating with what? I mean, okay, bark of a tree and barking of a dog when they have two different meanings altogether. I am saying hands, we know what it means. But in terms of how they are, because hands of a clock, hands of a human, hands of this creature, of that thing, they are different in terms of what the modality is of them. Allah also has hands. He says with his hands, he created Adam. He wrote the, the tablets, right? Mm -hmm. So it doesn't mean he used his ears to roll the tablet. That would have been a false equivocation with dog barking and a tea having barks. We know what hands means, but we're saying the modality of how they are, the reality of these hands, they are not like identical to anything of the creation. This something that you need to get in your head because you do not even understand our position and you straw manned it for all that time. I want to know, you believe God in heaven. No, we're still on this topic. I'm still due to reply don't to that. Don't interrupt, don't interrupt. God in heaven in Christianity, he has a throne and someone's going to stand beside him. This someone now has a physical form, flesh. The human flesh of Jesus Christ, the second member of the Trinity, is going to remain forever. So God now has taken a form, human form. So it's a God man. But the question is, how much of God is in that man? If God cannot be represented in any way, in any form, in any shape, in any way physically, materially, because what to, what do you mean by spiritual? I don't even understand because even the spirits. I'm going to pray soon, inshallah. Right. So now, I want to know, what is God in heaven to you? You say God exists. What does it mean? How do you feel his existence? Does he have a form? And what do you mean by form?